Magnolia Parks reading vlog. This is probably like the book right now. We just recently got it in our last haul. We don't know much about it other than it's about a toxic relationship. A lot of people have been saying there really isn't much of a plot. It's really just like dialogue and we just kind of get thrown into this relationship. That's what I'm most interested about. Like our thoughts and opinions on that writing style because I'm very much a plot person like we discussed last time and you said you don't really mind like you're kind of just yeah I don't mind that yeah I like dialogue I don't love too much description with the amount of love surrounding this book I'm kind of expecting it to be very good something revolutionary and different from all the normal contemporary romances we read it's a very long one too so I'm hoping we really enjoy it because this is a commitment here mm -hmm. we're gonna divide the book up into four sections and come back and update you guys but it is a big book so we should get started there's 68 chapters in the book so we are gonna stop at around chapter 14 and update you guys let you know how the book's going and our thoughts why every time I see someone recommend this book they don't give you a summary because there is quite literally no plot. I know we kind of knew that going in but it's confirmed we are following this couple Magnolia and BJ. They've known each other since they were kids pretty much grew up together very much in love. We're basically just getting a backstory of what happened to get them where they are today because they are in this very unhealthy friendship kind of slash relationship. It's very much like we love and care about each other but there's too much that's happened between us to be together. I will say just straight off the bat, the writing, I don't know. I don't know if I love it. In the first few chapters, it was very hard for me to get through. Yeah. I kept feeling like I had to reread some of the pages. I think a lot of it too is we're being introduced to so many people at one time. Mm -hmm. And I can't do that. I need, I don't know. Like an introduction of each one separately. Yeah, but it's not only that. We're introduced to them and they say their name and then they change their name to a different nickname. And then now they have a different nickname. And then mm -hmm. it's like, I don't even know who this person is. It just drives me crazy. I did think that was strange. It was a lot of like information thrown at you. Also in the first few chapters, I almost couldn't take it seriously because it felt like they were trying really hard to have these deep moments in such a casual scene. I don't know how to explain it. Just this one line, let me read you on page four. This is the opening. He looks me up and down, his eyes dragging over me like his hands used to. He takes a sharp breath in and breathes loving me out. Like, what? If we weren't filming a video vlog for it, I would have DNF'd already. I'm almost glad that we are doing this so it made me keep reading because I do think it's not bad. I don't hate the toxic relationship aspect. I think those can be done really well. Right now, I'm just unsure. That's my biggest thing too. I hope we form a connection with the characters yeah. and then actually start caring about their story. Exactly. But right now, I feel like I'm being thrown into this friendship and I don't want to be in it. Yeah. We know BJ goes and sleeps around and that's really just his way of of getting at her. In return, Magnolia goes and forms relationships with people and that's her way of getting at him. So we have this introduction of Tom England, which is her newest relationship. She has had a crush on Tom England for forever. It seems like everybody loves this Tom England character. Even BJ really likes him until he finds out that there's a relationship forming. The idea behind the relationship is really just to make BJ mad. Tom knows it and he's down for it. I still don't think enough has happened for me to form a solid opinion yet. However, there's just like aspects I don't love and some that are okay. Next, we're going to read until chapter 32 and then come back and update you. Now at chapter 32, I will say I feel like I'm a little more into it. It's definitely easier to read yeah. now that we're starting to really know who everyone is. But there's a lot of drama happening right now with Tom, with Magnolia's family, just some side things mm -hmm. to kind of make it a little bit more interesting. I do like that BJ really sees that Tom is such a good guy. Mm -hmm. We have seen multiple times throughout this book where BJ's like, why does Tom have to be such a good guy? Yeah. Like, why is he perfect for her? BJ has 
has a realization that this man could actually be really good for her. And that worries him. Yeah. It's frustrating to see too because they are stuck in this vicious cycle and you know that they know it and they're frustrated with it too but they just can't do anything to change it. The delivery is not, it's not where it needs to be for me personally which is very disappointing because I want to love it. What I want for Magnolia is to get out of this toxicity. I know that probably everyone wants them to figure it out and end up together and I don't. I want her to realize like you need to walk away because this is never gonna change and it's not worth it anymore. That's what I'm hoping for the end and I don't know if they're gonna give us that. That's kind of our thoughts now, not the best. It's like not like a bad book. There's just like a lot of issues we're finding with it. We're gonna read till chapter 48 and hopefully we love it by then. Yeah. left of the book which is crazy i can't believe this book's still going on uh, <laughs> it definitely does not need to be this no book. it doesn't right now we're really just seeing tom and magnolia are actually forming a relationship and i'm all here for that everyone can see how horrible bj treats magnolia so i like that when she's with tom she does see like this is how i should be right. treated she can see the differences and she's still like, but it's not the same. That part's very relatable. Yeah. Especially if that's all you're used to. Just everyone's in toxic, unhealthy relationships. Everyone in the group. Everyone's got something crazy going on. Do people like BJ? I don't know. I don't hate him. He's a good guy. He, he needs just, to grow up. He needs to grow up and he needs to like just change a few things in his mindset. Because this ain't it. <laughs> And what sucks is they know they could be this awful to each other because they know they'll never leave each other, which is the worst part, which I guess is the whole part, really. <laughs> BJ, Tom, and Magnolia are going to this event together, but it seems like Magnolia is gonna have to choose. Is she going to fall back and go with BJ? Or is she going to go with Tom, who treats her well? She can see herself be happy with, but it's always gonna be BJ. You know what it is? What is the song? Oh, by Taylor Swift. Yeah. She's gonna miss screaming and crying and kissing in the rain and it's 2 a.m. and she's cursing his name. So in love. She acts insane and that's the way she loves him. <laughs> that's this whole book. That's this whole book. If you don't want to read 500 pages, Alexa, play Taylor Swift the way I loved you. Thank you. Okay, so we're gonna finish the book and then come back with our final thoughts, our final update. we finished the book i will say i'm still processing the ending it was a lot really quickly like that's where the book should have began yes that's what i was gonna say the way that these last few chapters felt the pacing the information everything i wish was how the entire book was i felt like that's when it really got interesting but it's sad that that was the last two chapters of the book my prediction for what was going to happen was completely wrong <laughs> And for that, I'm very impressed. Was yours right? Like, is that what you thought? I had guessed that very early on, but then they kept dragging it out that mm -hmm. I was thinking maybe it has to be something a little bit more serious. Right. Not that what happened wasn't right. serious. The way that it all unfolded was really well done. I feel like I was actually like, oh my gosh, it's about to happen. Yeah. We're about to find everything out. And when it did, I was reading like with my jaw dropped the whole time. It was good. And I'm thoroughly impressed by the ending. I hope that that's it. Final thoughts now. Based on all of the hype around this book, I, at least off this first book, do not think it's worth it. It's just the fact that it's this long. If it was 300 pages, I'd say go ahead, give it a shot. If it was just better... <laughs> 
I just don't think enough of the book was interesting and engaging enough for me to like it the way that everyone does. It wasn't a hit for me. And that's okay. I think this definitely needs an audiobook. I wanted to put this book down multiple times. And I know when I listen to audiobooks, I just don't stop. Like, I'll just keep going. Right. This would have been one that I maybe would have read throughout a couple weeks. Just yeah. because it doesn't have that thing that makes you want to keep reading. It's definitely not a page turner. The characters and everything are interesting. It was just it's the same stuff until the very end. If you're into anything we talked about, toxic relationship, fake dating, things like that, you might enjoy it. It's a solid read. I'm not mad that we read it. However, it's definitely not a five star for me. I don't think I would read the other two books in the series. I think I did have a connection with the characters. It was just the fact that it was very like immature at times. I did like the ending, but I think the overall journey of it was just so tiring. Yeah, I'm exhausted. I'm gonna go 3.5. You think? Three. <laughs> 3.25. We'll see. I think it was just one of those times where it was so hyped. Our expectations were a lot higher than it would have been just going into a book. So that probably did play a lot into it. However, you know, we read it. It was fine. We know our place with it now. We know our place with it now. So that is it for our thoughts on Magnolia Parks. Hopefully y'all still like us. <laughs> Um, hopefully we didn't bash this book too hard. Thank you guys for watching. Don't forget to let us know your thoughts on this book. If you have read it, if you want to read it, if you don't want to read it anymore. As always, make sure to like and subscribe if you haven't already. And we will see you next time. Alexa, play Taylor Swift the way I loved you. Thank you. <laughs> now we're actually playing it. I'm like, should we sing it? Alexa, louder. <laughs> <laughs> Alexa, louder. <laughs> Alexa, louder. <laughs> this is so fun. <laughs> oh, my single friends are jealous. <laughs> I feel like I'm in a reading slump, honestly. Like, I don't even want to pick up. <laughs> <laughs> you actually i'm done reading this is the end for me <laughs> i'm never reading another book again <laughs> oh hello oh i did like the billy eilish reference i know me too <laughs> i was like you know what i just like i bumped you up a two five <laughs>